Now we're just going to look at some past HSC questions. 2014 HSC question 12E. It says the diagram shows the graph of a function fx and there it is there. Okay, the equation function of x equals 0 has a root here at x is a. It's where that function cuts the x-axis. Now they've chosen x1 as the first approx as, as a first approximation. Now, if you apply um, Newton's rule to this, doesn't it do the tangent at your first approximation? So if you choose x1 as your first approximation and you do the tangent to the curve, it actually ends up down here somewhere. Watch what I'm doing. You'll end up down here for your other approximation. So what you would do is you would draw that. Um, I can't draw a diagram on this. Can I? Anyone? Can I get a line and draw it on it or no? I'm in, no, I don't think so. I'm in screencast. So the value x1 is chosen as the first approximation. A second approximation of x2, x2 of alpha, is obtained by applying Newton's method once using x1 as a first approximation. Using a diagram or otherwise, explain why x1 is a closer approximation than x2. So what you're going to do is you're going to say Newton's rule uses tangents. And we'll do the tangent to the curve at x1. The tangent is the gradient. So the tangent at the curve, you would draw a straight line like that down here. And you'd show that your second x2 is there. I can do it here. So if you get a straight line, do a tangent to x1, where it hits the x-axis here, where I've got my cursor there, that's where x2 will be. Do you get what I'm saying? So therefore, can you see that x1 is closer to alpha than what x2 would be? Okay? That's that one. So you'll have to use the di A diagram. You'll re-sketch it. Where would be a better position, do you think, for... So I'm just doing a diagram here now. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> I'm just switching over here for a sec to show you the, um, see my tangent? So you would say that Newton's method uses tangent to the curve at that particular point. And when you draw the tangent, x2, that's your first approximation. That's your second approximation. And your actual real root, that's your actual root. You can say that the second approximation is further from the root then the first approximation. Now, that's all you need to say. A better choice would be to, you're not going to put x1 up here because that would the tangent would be straight across. A good place would be to try and choose a point here, like x1 there. Can you see if you do a tangent there, you'd get a good approximation to the root? So basically what's happened here, this would be a better value for your first approximation. Does that make sense? Okay, so that value there, which I've done in blue, would be a better value because if you look at the tangent there, you're going to end up with a value where it cuts the x-axis is very close to the actual root. Okay? So you need to know what the formula is for um, Newton's method, and it's A1, the first approximation, is A minus function of A over F dash A. Okay, and when I looked at, in the video, we looked at the proof of this rule, you're actually just finding all, the, all that the proof, all that this rule is, is the equation of the tangent at your first approximation, and it's actually working out the x-intercept of that equation of tangent. That's all that that formula is, is the x-intercept of the equation of the tangent to the curve at your first approximation. All right? All right, are we okay with that? Now, the second question. Now, um, okay, you sh all right, this one's got log, so you can't do this one yet. We'll come back to these. We'll come back to these when you do HSC questions and after we've done the, um, at the end of next term, okay? Actually, we probably... Oh, yeah, because you've got to differentiate. You can't do them. You can't do that one either, and you can't do the next one. 
and you can't do the next one and you can't do that and you can't do that and you can't do that. So what we'll do, we'll revisit this for a lesson at, towards the end of term one next year, okay? It's pretty easy to apply. Once you've learned how to differentiate logarithmic and exponential functions, which you're doing early next term, we can come back and finish these off. All right, so that's it. I think you know enough about this at the moment. Um, and we're going to look at... Um, for those that aren't here today, that's only one person, in question 9A, to do a question like this, find the approximation for that. You just note that the cubed root of 1 is 1, the cubed root of 8 is 2, so therefore cubed root of 5 lies between 1 and 2. So therefore your first approximation will be 1 plus 2 over 2, which is 1 and a half. When you're trying to um, use Newton, Newton's method to come up with an approximation for this, we need this in the form of an equation. So if we've got x is cubed root of 5, we will cube both sides and get x cubed is 5. The next step is to take everything over to the left-hand side. So x cubed minus 5 is 0. That will be your function of x. You can then use Newton's method now using that as your function of x. And everyone might want to just do one more example, one more question in question 9. I think I set 9A or B, just do another one for practice um, tonight. All right? That's it.